pendulums are a fun and popular tool people use to divine the answers to their questions, to help them locate a missing object, or to douse energy blockages in someone's body. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how a pendulum works, how to choose and calibrate a pendulum to your energy, what types of questions you should be asking and the proper way to ask a pendulum a question, and when is it that you shouldn't be the one asking the question. Hello, I'm Wendy Rapp, Spiritual Life Coach and Psychic Tarot Reader. On this channel, I help you as a spiritually awakened person grow and evolve on your soul's journey. And if you enjoy information like this, hit the subscribe button because I upload a new video every Sunday. A pendulum is a tool that's used to help connect you to source energy, to your angels and guides, and to your higher self. And you use it to help uh, receive guidance and some clarity or direction regarding an issue usually in your life. A pendulum is a tool you use to connect with your own energy. You're connecting with your energy at the moment and the energy of your higher self. It's a tool that does not in itself have any magic. It does not know the answers of, on its own to the questions you're about to ask it. You're the one who has those answers. The pendulum is simply going to show you that you have those answers. Another thing to keep in mind is it is a tool that we use for guidance and for direction, so I wouldn't recommend you use it frivolously or that you use it to ask for answers to every question you have about your life or every life decision you have to make. Use the pendulum in a situation where you want to get um, gain clarity or have a better understanding of a situation. It's really good to actually think of using this tool as part of a spiritual practice. Choosing a pendulum is actually really easy. Just go with what you're drawn to. Um, when you're out shopping and looking for a pendulum, whichever one is the first one that draws you to it, that's usually the one you're meant to be working with, take that pendulum hold it how does it feel really focus on the feeling the energy that you're receiving from whether it's made of crystal glass metal uh, wood it doesn't matter there's energy that you'll be feeling from it just how does it feel how does it make you feel is there some inexplicable reason you're drawn to it then know that that's the right pendulum for you and it really doesn't matter what the pendulum is made out of as long as it's a weighted object. It could be uh, a weight that you use on a fishing line. It really doesn't matter. Tied to a string. Anything that has some weight to it that allows it to swing is all that's needed. But if you're drawn to something prettier, and most people are drawn to crystals, and I have quite a collection of crystal points that I usually wear, because I have a tendency to use whatever's around my neck as a pendulum, you can do that. You don't have to buy one. They're fun to have and I do have a few, but it's, it's just as easy to wear, use a necklace if you have one um, that has a little weight to it. So go with whichever one you're drawn to. You can use anything you have around the house that has some weight to it. It's the intention you're putting into it, not the actual pendulum itself that is going to be giving you the answers. But if you're like me, you're going to want to have a, a pendulum that's made of a crystal. I just love the energy of crystals. I do have a number of points that I wear, um, actually as necklaces, that's what they were intended for. Um, but I put them on uh, my necklace chain and then when I need to use it as a pendulum, I also use them as pendulums. And as you can see, I have quite a, a wide variety of crystals to choose from there. But I also have, uh, a metal pendulum that I use. It's rather old and worn, but it still works. And if you're looking for a crystal pendulum, go into a place like Earth Spirit, New Age Center in Red Bank, New Jersey, or any metaphysical store near you. They will have pendulums. And I do recommend that if you're searching for a pendulum, something that you want to use, make it your own, and it's going to be part of your energy, then going in and choosing one for yourself is important to do. Go in, take a look at what you're drawn to, get a feel for the energy, really get a feel for the energy of the pendulum you're going to be using because it's going to be a personal divination tool for you. And trust me, your higher self, if you're feeling confused, there's a wide array, array of crystals and you don't know which one to choose, just ask your higher self to help you and go with the first thing you feel drawn to. 
your higher self will help you choose the right pendulum. Now, once you've chosen your pendulum and you're taking it home, you need to cleanse it. You want to cleanse it of the energies of anybody else who might have touched it. So you want to cleanse that energy. Good ways you can do it, sage, run it through sage smoke. Um, you can run it under tap water. It does work. It is an acceptable way. If it's not a water soluble crystal or a crystal that will be damaged by salt, bury it in a little cup of sea salt overnight. That will do it. You can also um, put it in the full moon and let the full moon energy work on both clearing and charging. Full moon and sun is what I usually use. Um, I give it a 24 hour period <clears throat> to help charge and to help clear the crystal. So once you've done that, you're ready to start working with it. So this is the crystal I'm going to be working with. This is actually a necklace. I hold it a little closer, hold it steady. I'm going to do like they do in the makeup videos. There you go. Um, <laughs> It's uh, actually a pendant. It's a quartz crystal. It's actually a pendant. And I bought it, I think, at the first crystal shop that I was working at when I was doing readings years and years and years ago. Um, I found that it always works great as a pendulum for me. I mean, the shape is good. The weight is good. Um, and I just love the crystal. Also, this is a necklace that I wore each time I got attuned to Reiki. I'm a Reiki master teacher now, so this little baby's loaded with all kinds of good energy. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're going to take, and as you can see, it's just on a necklace chain, nothing fancy. So you, if you have a regular pendulum, that's fine. If you have something on a chain like this, perfect. If you have a string holding something, fine, it's all good. So. You're going to take it, and you don't want to hold it all the way from the top of whatever the chain length is because it makes it too unsteady. So you're going to want to calibrate. The first thing you want to do after you've cleansed it is you're going to want to calibrate the energy of this crystal to you. So what you do is you take it and kind of shorten it down a little bit, a few inches. There you go. So you can see how much I shortened that. I'm not quite sure how many inches that is, but you get an idea. And what you're going to do, and what I usually do when I'm calibrating or using a pendulum, well, the first thing you should do is have your arm on some solid surface. Um, that way you won't move your arm too much and, it, you know, mess up the energy of the, uh, the movement of the crystal. So if you have um, a table to put your elbow on, or you can put your elbow against your body, which I do, but you can't see it in the frame, so I'm holding my arm up, but otherwise you should steady the elbow. Once you steady the elbow, elbow, you're going to hold the crystal. I like to put my opposite palm under the crystal. Don't know why, I just do. Um, and then I ask the crystal, the pendulum, could you please show me yes? So for yes, for me, okay, is, as you can see, it's moving. I'm trying very hard to keep my arms steady. And yes for me, whoops, there you go, in frame, is forward and back. Okay, thank you. I always thank the crystal. I always do. I just think that's a good thing to do. Even though your energy is making it move, always thank the crystal. Okay, next I'm going to ask, okay, could you show me no? And immediately it's swinging side to side. See that? So now it's going side to side. So for me... On camera, it looks like it's going in circles, but it is going side to side. So for me, no is side to side. Thank you. No is side to side. Yes is front and back. Then you're going to want to ask, show me no answer. And it always does that. Now, for no answer, okay, I'm trying to hold it very steady. For no answer for me, it just... I, my arm is starting to give out, <laughs> so if it's shaking, it's my arm. Um, but for no answer for me, it's usually just steady. For some people, no answer, it'll, it'll jump a little bit, less than that, but it'll jump. For other people, no answer might be a circle. So your no answer, your yes and no may be completely different than everything you just saw from me, but that's okay. That just shows you that's your energy it's working with and not imitating mine. So find out your yes, find out your no, and then find out your no answer. Because there are some questions we're going to ask 
that there aren't answers that are going to come to us because it could be a karmic lesson we're meant to be going through. We're not meant to know everything and we have to work through things in order for it to unfold and the universe and your higher self is not going to always give you the answers to everything you want, unfortunately. And by the way, I recommend that you calibrate it every time you work with it. Um, just to be clear that your, your answers are what you're thinking they are. Even if you're used to your crystal doing a certain, your, your crystal might have a mind of its own, your higher self might have a mind of its own that day. Calibrate it, take a moment and calibrate it every time you work with it. And now you're ready to start working with the pendulum by asking it questions. Now before you do, it is a spiritual practice, so the first thing you want to do is ground yourself, call in the white light of protection. Talk to your angels and guides. Let them know that you're going to be accessing answers or trying to access answers to your questions and you would like their help. You want them to come in and offer you protection along with that white light. Anytime you do a spiritual practice, always, always call in the divine, call in your angels and guides, call in uh, the protection of the white light because we don't want any other energies interfering with this practice. Okay, so once you do that, and you're ready to ask questions. Remember, this can only answer a yes or a no. There's no maybes, there's no either ors, it's yes or no. So you're going to have to formulate questions that will give you a yes or no. Oh, and one more thing before I forget. Once you do calibrate it to your energy, to make sure that you are really, you really have calibrated the pendulum to your energy, ask it a question that you know the answer to. For instance, now remember my no was side to side. Okay, am I four foot nine? And it's swinging side to side. Okay, so no, I'm not four foot nine. <laughs> okay, am I five foot nine? And now it's starting to swing front to back, which was my yes. So it, it answers me honestly when I ask questions that I already know the answer to. That's a good way to just make sure you've calibrated it correctly. So once you've done all that, you're now going to take the questions that you will formulate and I do recommend if there's an issue, think of a few good questions you can ask for clarity that are yes or no. Have them in your mind. If you want to write them down, write them down. That's okay. And then Pull out the pendulum and ask the pendulum. Now, if there is an answer you get to one of those questions or to any question you ask it, where the pendulum's kind of like all over the place and it's not giving you a yes and it's not giving you a no and it's just doing its own little weird dance, that's probably because your own energy is interfering with it. And that happens when a person has a strong attachment to an outcome. Is he the guy for me? Am I going to marry him? You know, that kind of thing. And then the pendulums, they, a person might get an answer they want. The pendulum might be trying to give you a no, and it's not the answer you want, and your, your energy is trying to direct it to say yes. So when it comes to questions that have to do with a strong emotional attachment, I would recommend that you find a friend who knows how to use a pendulum, that always helps, and ask that friend to do the pendulum work for you and ask the question for you. But make sure it's a friend who really can be objective and can be honest and isn't just going to give you the answer you're going to want to hear. When it comes to something we are emotionally attached to, it's very difficult to get a straight answer with the pendulum because we are putting and influencing our own energy into it. One of the reasons I don't work with the pendulum a lot, at least not for questions for myself, I use it to douse energy, especially on my cats when they're not well, that kind of thing. But um, I don't often use it to ask questions because if I have a question that's important enough to me to ask, um, someone, a reader, or to ask a pendulum, then it usually is something I'm pretty attached to and I need to know the outcome for some reason. And I know my own energy. I can influence this so easily, it's not funny. So I usually go to a reader who I trust um, 
and at Earth Spirit. And I will ask one of the readers there, you know, to give me the clarity I need. So having a friend who can help you will be very helpful, but make sure they're objective. So a few points to keep in mind when you're using your pendulum. You shouldn't be the one asking the question when you're feeling attached to the outcome. That's one. The other is make sure you always ground and protect yourself and are working with the divine when you're using a pendulum. It is a divining tool. And if you're not feeling well, I wouldn't use a pendulum if you're feeling off, you had a bad day, you're stressed out, um, you're feeling a little sick. Your answers may not be as accurate as they could be. When you're not feeling off, your energy is off, and it is going to affect the energy that comes through the pendulum. This is just an extension of your energy and of your higher self. So if you're feeling off, mm, put it aside for the next day when hopefully you're feeling better. And if you find that you get uh, answers to questions and they're not the answers you wanted, don't keep asking the pendulum over and over and over again, hoping for it to change its mind. Remember, this is part of your higher self, which knows the answer. So if the answer is something you don't like, accept it. If you do keep trying over and over and over again, eventually your energy will win out and you will get the answer you want. It just won't be the right answer. So always approach using a pendulum with an open mind, being calm, and being detached from the outcome. I hope that information was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comments section below. I do see the comments. I do respond. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have on the topic or on any other topic. If you would like to connect with me in the so on social media, the links are below in the description box. And if you're interested in getting a reading with me, I'm available in person or over the phone for readings. Just call the number on the screen. Uh, Earth Spirit will set up an appointment time with you. As always, thank you so much for joining me. And remember, you are a spark of the divine. Share your light with the world. Blessings. <laughs>